In this video, we'll use Astro Pixel Processor to load our light frames and calibration frames and then create a stacked image. This, of course, is the nuts and bolts procedure used by all Astro images and will be the prime purpose of any processing software. Stacking many sub-exposures together improves the signal-to-noise ratio of the stacked image. This is because when images are combined, the signal component of the data combines in a fairly linear way. Loosely speaking, combining two 300 second exposures will give a result similar to a single 600 second exposure. However, the noise contained in a stack of sub-exposures adds in a different way, namely as the square root of the number of images combined. So a stack of 100 images will only contain 10 times the noise, but 100 times the signal. This is a very agreeable scenario, but it is only a generalisation as there are many factors that complicate the real world situation. At least it gives us a working guideline. Astro Pixel Processor is a fantastic program that contains a multitude of processing options, but whilst appearing complex and difficult to use, it has what we can call an automatic mode that allows newcomers to the program to quickly calibrate and stack images without having to master the finer details. For this tutorial, I'll use the automatic mode and then in a separate video we'll examine the finer details. The first step is to set a working directory. To save any potential confusion, I've loaded all the appropriate calibration frames and a small set of light sub-exposures into the same folder. Click on the light button to load the light frames. The images will now appear in the file list. Next, click on the flat button to load the flat field images. Now we'll load the dark frames. And then finally the bias frames. You can see the number of calibration frames loaded by the numbers shown on the right hand side. As we are working with monochrome images, the file list has assigned differing shades of grey to each of the file types to help make identification easier. When we load colour images later, they will be displayed with a colour identification shading. As we are in the automatic mode, we can jump straight to the number 6 button, Integrate. Although there are a lot of options here, I won't change any of them. At the bottom of the menu, I'll select Set Save Directory and choose the main directory to hold our master frames when they're created and then click on Integrate. This will take a while to run, so I'll speed up the video. When completed, We'll see the master calibrated and stacked image appearing on the screen and APP has auto scaled the image for us. We can change the scaling strength from the drop list at right. Now this is looking really good. Notice how the file list has populated most of the fields. Under frame we can see that our light frames have been calibrated using master bias, master dark, master flat and a bad pixel map. We can also see confirmation for calibration, star analysis, registration and normalization. Scrolling along the list, there is now a lot of technical information for each of the light frames, such as maximum and minimum full width half maximum values. Note that APP chose light 3 as the reference image to which the others were aligned. At the bottom of the file list, we'll find our newly created bad pixel map, master flat, master dark, master bias, and the calibrated and stacked light frames. I hope you'll agree that while there is a huge amount of processing going on here, the actual input needed by us has been easy and quite minimal. It's very convenient to have the master calibration frames that APP has just created. We can run through the calibration and stacking routine again, but this time we'll use the master frames. 
As before, I'll load the light sub exposures. To load the master calibration frames, we scroll down further to the next set of buttons. We can load the master flat. Notice that APP has assigned file identification letters at the beginning of the file name. So we have MF for master flat, MB for master bias, BPM for bad pixel map and so on. Now we'll load the master bias frame. And finally, we can load the bad pixel map created in the earlier section of the video. As before, we can see all the loaded files in the file window below. A really nice feature of APP mentioned in the previous videos is that we can click on any of the light frames in the file list and when opened in the main image window, come up to the top drop list and change from the linear view to the calibrated view. This effectively gives you a before and after view of the calibration procedure. Clicking on the star map button also gives useful information on the sub exposure such as full width half maximum values. Clicking on the integrate button opens the menu. Again, we won't touch any of the menu options, but note that the integrate option is set to automatic. Just above that is a slider where we can choose how many of the loaded subframes are used in the stack. This is a nice feature as if you're working with a large number of sub exposures, you can reduce the percentage value so that the poorest quality frames are rejected from the stack. While we're here, I'll try reducing that number to the eight best frames. APP will carry out a star analysis on all the frames and then reject the worst three. Scroll down to set the save directory. Then press the integrate button. Assign a file name if necessary. And then click OK. We'll use M33 version 2. Again, this will take a little while to do, so I'll speed up the video. OK, this is looking great. As before, the file list is populated with the new information. Under the frame column, we can see the status of each of the light frames and what has been applied to them. Scrolling across to the quality column, we can see the three low scoring frames that APP has chosen not to add to the stack. A really nice feature of APP is that it will always show an alert if any incorrect files have been loaded or if there are any anomalies in the calibration or stacking procedure. Finally, to remove the loaded files from APP's file list, we select them all. As you can see, they will be highlighted in blue and then right click and choose remove. Now APP is ready for the next batch or to carry out further processing on the calibrated and stacked files.